Welcome, Admirals, to Ray Rivers Gaming and my Japanese campaign in War Plan Pacific. Now, I had uh, planned to um, do the whole war in a second video in my campaign um, after my first move video, but I decided that that's going to be way too long, and also I'm not going to be able to put a, the, the kind of um, um, detail that I wanted to discuss as um, um, the war played out. So what I've decided to do is I'm going to be doing a video per year. So this is this will be the second video and, it'll, and it's for 1942 and I will do do the videos by year. So let's get going shall we? It's uh, March 1st 1942. Um, you can see that um, I've captured Singapore here. The, this is the report for this for this um, save. I sunk some merchants and the skipjack was sunk. But let's take a look at um, what's generally going on here. So first we'll look at um, China. And if you remember from my first... Um, first... Um, video the plan was for me to essentially to take this line here which is a nice line of um, supply and especially to to take um, Changsha which I'm sure I pronounced badly it's important because it's a victory point and also also it's a resource area so that's really important okay and that's what I'm aiming for um, as I'm beginning this, um, my move in China. Um, up here in the north, it's going to be pretty static. My, my major um, movements will be down here where they have a fairly good road system and the um, supply uh, is pretty good. Notice down here, I have one, two, three, four armies, okay? And uh, um, the, the reason I have four armies there is because I moved some down here and I had two armies over here and I moved them over to, by sea over to here. So I'm putting, I have another army up there. So I've got five Japanese armies, five Japanese armies who are all converging on this area here to push the, um, the Chinese out of, Changsha. Keep coming down here. And what we see is I'm having troubles with with um, conquering the Philippines. Um, you can you can see these guys are, are having a real hard time. Even even though they're cut off from supply, they're having a hard time conquering these guys. So and and the Allies have actually moved all of their aircraft to the Philippines to support them. So it's, it's not an easy job at the moment. And I'm going to be forced to send some reinforcements, I think, in there. Let's come down here to the Borneo and Netherlands East Indies area. And what you see is I have taken all of Borneo, taken all of their um, fuel, their oil reserves here. I have another air oil reserve here. And in this move, I managed to capture Batavia. And notice I have an army here. And once again, this was this army. I think it was up here. Or I think it was up here. And I brought it down and into this area here to take to take this oil and then I shifted him down into this area to um, make sure that I took Batavia. At the, at the very beginning, um, even with the little um, increase that I gave to the um, allies in um, effectiveness and uh, experience, it, it proved to be enough that it made things much more difficult than I expected and so I have to use a little bit more force to to get to um, my objectives but you know notice it is March all right um, 
which is um, three months since the um, attack on Pearl Harbor. And a lot of folks worry about, oh, I got to take this place over here to get that 30 oil or run out of oil. But as we can see here, okay, I've got 33 oil. My upkeep is 35, so I'm two down. Each move, I would, I, I, I'm, I'm losing two oil. I've got 62 stockpiled, and now once I ca uh, once now that the um, the uh, Netherlands East Indies has fallen, and they will because I've I've taken their capital, then this 30 oil will come online. So the it's not a real. Do not go crazy. Um, staking the whole war on taking this right from the beginning um, when it's far easier to just take all the other stuff and um, and you have plenty of oil and I've also taken the oil here now we go up into Burma and so forth and let's take and you see here I've also taken this one here so my guys are starting to come up I've got two armies here I have another army here. These guys, these guys, these guys, I think were landed here. Okay. And now I'm going to have to, now I'm going to have to um, try to uh, knock them out of the, the, the war here so I can get this guy back up into this area here. All right. Now I was talking about how I'm trying to set up a anti-submarine defense and that meant spreading airplanes across um, my my um, uh, convoy lines okay to cover all of that all right so what you see here is I still have this guy here okay with 10 he's anti-submarine 10 which is quite a uh, covers quite an area okay but I've moved I've got this guy over here now he's naval air he's gonna have to change these guys are going to have to get relocated close air support naval air another guy over here and another guy over here and so what I've done is I'm trying to make an air network which will cover all of these lands of communication in case a um, the Americans start sending submarines into my trade lands. I come on down here and um, I've taken the the victory points these victory points in Papua New Guinea and Rabul has um, some. I've, I've been sending down the torpedo boats and so so forth and all that. And they also have a naval air. But the most important thing is that this serves as a base. It's it's a um, major base. Okay. It serves as the base for which I'm launching my my submarines, okay, to get into their um, their their convoy lands to sink their sink their merchants, okay. And this is a good place here because, as you can see, there's no aircraft. So I really don't have a lot to worry about there. I don't think it's. I think it's a pretty good place to be. All of their aircraft are up here. So this guy has been just beating up on the um, on the merchant marines of the Allies, and that's where I'm at right now. I haven't. I haven't. Um, I need what I need. What I'm wanting is to get. A, a, um, a perk for my infantry, so I can I can set up an engineer, 
who can who can start upgrading this point here okay I need this I want this point here this area here Manus I want to upgrade them first so I can put my my fleet there okay and they can protect Rabol this is my first line of defense okay in this area here but I still haven't gotten a um, um, a perk for my infantry so I, I don't have an engineer and um, I'm waiting for that to happen here are my fleet assets These, this is the guys that um, attacked Pearl Harbor notice their effectiveness is still way down three months after that attack they're still not at a hundred percent the rest of my fleet I've put over here for now I have a submarine down here and these guys are on blockading duty over there and this is if you um, remember back when I uh, on my first move I brought some sh uh, uh, troops in here but I actually left that port open and um, that was that was a mistake I had I had um, cruisers I had cruisers which I could have put in block uh, over here to blockade this this point and I didn't do that so that was a mistake it meant that for one week I wasn't actually um, uh, blockading the Philippines sent me back a bit so now I'm trying to catch up let's take a look at my builds now notice um, production is 204 upkeep 201 and I've got my upgrades to 285 so what I'm trying to do at this at this time is I want all of my production to go into um, upgrading my my units all right especially my infantry um, right now uh, is the main concern all right we look at my advancements okay I have a I have a lot I had a lot of infantry at 1940 41 and I need to get them up to 42 all right nothing's really changed here and when you see down below okay 1941 1941 1941 so I'm trying to get these guys um, up upgraded to 1942 but I have an, a huge actually I have a huge military here and upgrading all of these units is difficult okay you see here even these guys here I have them to reinforce and upgrade and that turns out to be a mistake even though I turned off these guys I just have too much too many people and I'm going to have to be more uh, selective in my upgrading which I think we'll see in the next um, in the next uh, phase of the ba of the war okay and then over to reports so let's take a look at forces my forces I've seen when I was playing the Americans I've seen this I believe up to 1800 okay um, the Americans and the United Kingdom their navy is slowly coming up mine is still superior India's taken a lot of losses there but I'm not uh, you know I'm I mean well, I haven't gotten to loss yet yet so everything is still building up this is the build-up phase if you will and my chance to attack here's casualties I've taken a bunch of losses here I've taken a bunch of air losses here and I can't figure out why about on this I, 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 I figure it out later but so we'll wait until then but what you can see is is that the 
um, the United Kingdom and the USA are starting to take hits in their merchants. All right. Sunk ships. I managed to get both the Prince of Wales and the Repulse, but only the California and uh, Pearl Harbor. So, And those British battleships, of course, were in Singapore. And that pretty much is the situation in um, March of 1942. So now we're going to go forward to um, June 21st of 1942. So here we are in uh, June 21st of 1942. And once again, notice my those submarines are just still beating up on... Um, on the um, uh, Allied merchants. I lost the um, coastal group here. I'll talk about that in a, in a sec. So let's um, let's see what's going on here. All right. We'll start by okay. I'll we'll start by coming down here. I notice I've actually made quite a quite a um, advance on the um, Chinese. We've taken um, Changsa, okay, which is a victory point. All of my armies coming up here, they they basically pushed the um, the Chinese out of this area, and my guys up here, essentially, just holding um, in a defensive posture. I'm I'm not. I'm, st you know, I'm still a little bit, a little bit um, hesitant about moving these guys forward. But it's starting to come to me that I'm, I, I need to, I need to, or I can, the opportunity is available for me here to attack in this area. Okay. And so I'm now starting to figure out how to push down into this area. Notice I have an army here. Down here. Not much. I've taken complete control of this peninsula. And now my forces are moving up into India. All right. And once again, three armies. Let me see here. They've notice how they've upgraded to 1942 now. My armies are 1942, and a lot of lot of um, lot of um, lot of my forces. Um, are up to 1942. So I've gotten almost all of my frontline troops up to 1942. And what I did was I had to, I had, I decided to um, hold off on reinforcing a number of uh, more, a lot more um, troops. These, these guys here, these guys here and here are essentially running around killing um, and capturing um, the uh, partisans that show up in the game. Okay, see how I'm set up here. And so they don't need to be 1942. And I definitely wanted to get um, um, my fighting troops up to 1942 because it became obvious to me that I'm not, I don't have... I don't have um, the resources to get my entire army, all of these, all of these guys, uh, you know, all across the Pacific, to upgrade all of them. So I'm going to be more, more, more um, um, selective in who gets upgraded. So notice this guy here, division. Okay, so what I decided was, okay, if it's a division, after they got their 1942 assault, I decided that they would only get reinforced. 
while my armies are going to get reinforced and upgraded. Okay, so that's how I'm going to handle my infantry now. It's 42, I think, is pretty good for my my um, my my divisions, but my armies need to go up. Okay. And reinforce some, some, some guys like this guy here who's out in the front line. He will, he will also get upgraded. But there's a lot of guys who I don't need to, to upgrade. All right, and now you can see also, I've moved this, um, this anti-submarine guy was over there. I moved him over here to give him even, even. Let me see. Let me see here. I'm not sure why he's not showing. He can, but he's got ten, so he's ten, so he's now covering quite a he's covering quite an area here, and like I say, I'm now moving aircraft. This guy, I upgraded him to anti-submarine. And he's at 10. And I've got him down here. But he's still at naval aircraft, naval air, air training. I have to convert him. He's over here. He's close support. I moved this guy down here. Again, he's he's ten, so that he can he can watch over this whole area and here around Borneo, where my um, fuel is going out. So I'm like I said, I'm trying to set up um, a network to to protect against anti. Um, Anti, I protect against submarines. Okay, so we can see that I'm starting to push here. I'm pushing up in here. I'm just holding here. Um, I put a I put a fleet here, and I'm just in reserve. I'm not sure what I can do with this, and I believe I tried um, putting four four destroyers out over here and um, to to try to um, interdict the merchants but they lost their efficiency so quickly that it became pretty obvious that you can't do that so they I brought them back and they were they were really hurting okay and now we see I have um, finally gotten a um, another unit with um, the engineer quirk and I put him on Manus. Um, Manus is, um, if you look down here, there they've upgraded to four. I need him to upgrade one more time and then they will be a major supply base just like Rabul. Okay. All right. So I'm upgrading him here. I've I've been taking air attacks, you know. They've got since since they've long, since I've taken the Philippines. Okay. They move their air down here, and they've been attacking me with um, their air, and they've been getting hits on my um, small boats, and sometimes sinking them. Okay. I have these, I have these fighters here. Who who have a range of eight, okay? But for some reason, I don't think they're they're actually defending um, Rabul. Or at least if they are, yeah, if they are, they're not doing a very great job of it. So I'm going to have to probably move this bomber into Manus. Okay, now another really important thing to look at here. Remember, I'm saying this is my first line of defense. Okay. 
and as soon as Manus goes up to um, major port, I'll bring my fleet down to here. Notice what I put here for th for the defense of Rabul. I put a full army. Okay, a full army has gone there, and over here. Okay, I've stationed an army, which is also a victory point. I'm not sure if I'll be able to get enough armies to do what I want to do, but in the um, beginning here, once once Manus is um, upgraded and their port supply goes up, notice that port supply is 26 of 80, then this guy, this engineer guy, will come up to Yap, and this army guy is going to go over there. So these two are very Im crucial, crucial areas if for the American Navy to be able to push towards the Philippines or to come over there and try to get these um, to get these um, victory points. So we're going to be putting armies in there. And meanwhile, like I say, my submarines now. I brought the I brought that submarine from over in this area. Brought him back over here, and now he's joined in the um, in the um, hunt for the merchantman. And you can see here that America has started bringing troops here. And they also have an aircraft there. And I'm not sure if I noticed that. Again, it, I mean, I mean, an anti submarine warfare, they can reach out to 10. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yep, so that's why he's there. Okay, he's 10 away from there. All right. So I think that gives a pretty good uh, general idea of what's going on. Let's take a look at builds. Okay, so once again, um, I'm keeping my reinforcements very high. My stockpile is quite low. I'm using Thailand to, to build um, trucks. Let's take a look at um, here. And um, yeah, I think escort fighters were upgraded. But now I've got a couple things getting ready to come here. Anti-submarine warfare and naval air training. But more importantly, these guys over here are getting close. So I'm starting to think about, about, um, you know, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm saying how, I'm saying, boy, you know, this, the, the um, research is actually outstripping my ability to upgrade my, um, my forces. So I have to be a lot more specific in who's going to get um, upgraded or not. My navy will all be upgraded. So I, got, I have to maintain my navy with the upgrades, so that means the only place I can play with is my army. And like I say, um, the armies themselves, army units, will be getting the upgrades. The, um, the divisions, um, now that they're 1942, will not, okay, until I feel happy with the situation. So let's take a look at advancements. I think I got I think I got an extra extra point or so here. I put it in anti submarine, attack submarine. Trying to get that attack submarine up there. Um, convoys are the same. Let's take a look at at forces. So I've, my forces have gone up a bit. 
Um, we're watching, of course, the United States and the UK, and their land forces are coming up. My Navy is still way ahead, although they're starting to um, um, grow. My merchants are 210, and I am focused on killing these guys, okay? To stop them from sending um, production points to their allies. Casualties, as you can see, I, I'm doing a pretty good job here, right? 35 merchants taken down. Japan. Japan is struggling a little bit because um, because um, as I attack, you know their efficiency your, your efficiency drops w with every attack. So I'm struggling a little bit. Second ships remains the same. Now I take a look at what's getting ready to come up here, and what you can see is here's these escorts. This is this is the um, the first buy that I did in the first first um, um, move, and now I now I've upgraded my army to 1942 standards, and so I got a chance to buy some extra stuff, and I bought another army and some supply trucks, and another um, um, submarine. So, once again, um, here I've moved. I've moved um, part of my navy, my navy from over here over to here. Okay, they have pretty good supply there of of eighty. So, so there's seventy of eighty. I'm moving this um, fighter, long-range fighter. He's coming down here. And now you see that the forces that participated in the um, Pearl Harbor attack, it's now June, okay? So six months later, and not everybody is up to 100%. All right, so that's the situation. We're making we're making progress over here. We're making progress over here. We've finally taken out um, the Philippines, although we need to push these um, aircraft out of here. And so let's um, next we'll take a look at uh, September. 27th. Okay, so here we are at uh, in September 27th, 1942, and what you can see right off is that we've gotten uh, uh, an assault advancement for our infantry to 1943. And we've also had um, um, a carrier advancement to 1943 as well. And what I found is is that for the Navy, if you want those advancements, when the advancement occurs for that Navy, if you want those um, advancements to pretty much happen, right? You know, there you need to be. I think you need to be in a um, in a major port, just like just like as um, the major ports are the place where you go to repair your ships. You want them to get that advancement, then they should be in a major port. So you see here, they these guys have gotten up there. But I don't. Th has everybody gotten it? Yep, all of those guys are now 1943. All right. And now you see, I've moved my I've moved my um, um, fighter squadron. 
in to cover a bull okay and I gave him the ace um, perk and you can see the rest of Papua New Guinea here okay I have an army still here that I moved in just moved into place it was, it was a reinforcement I have two armies here okay 1943 1943 and 1943 um, advancement and so I you know I, I want to make things really difficult for any anybody trying to to attack me here I mean really difficult I've got these three aircraft um, units all with naval air so when they come when they attack me I plan to attack them all right okay so let's take a look at what's going on in China China oh we've had some major fighting here and we've actually pushed forward you know, here I said, oh, I'm going to stay on the defense. Well, I decided to go on the offense. And um, we're pushing them. We're pushing them back. And they are being led. You see, here's I have these two armies here. They have 1943 assault. Okay. Notice this guy's 1941. 1941. These guys were over here before, and now they've come over here. I probably need to um, advance them up to 1942 at least. And over here again, 1943, here's these armies, 1943. This army hasn't upgraded yet. Okay. And we're pushing to try to take over this, this area in here, which will be a, a great um, um, defensive line for us when we look at the um, supply. Okay, so the nine, then it goes down to eight here, and we're seeing here basically nine, and it's going down to seven here, but, so what I wanna do is I wanna try to take over at least this area here. I'm not sure. Um, can these forces link up? link up and push these guys back um, well eventually I think they will okay if I can take this area here they'll be left in these areas here which which are not the greatest I don't think except you know always right next to the road you have a pretty good you have a pretty good um, um, uh, a supply hex but as it pushes off from the road as you see here okay many times it just falls really hard so I would if I remember correctly this area in here of jungle is pretty low and so I don't know how far I'm going to push push this all right meanwhile over here There was a um, um, an Indian um, army that was blocking my way um, in here, and and I was finally able to um, destroy it. I don't know if it's I don't know if it's on the combat log. Let me see. There we go. So let's see here. attack here here I'm beating my head against the wall okay but I wanted to get that guy out of there because we were kind of like this and this straightened us out my line and so I had a big fight up here attacker loses four you see I was taking some big hits there attacker loses four defender three and holds and then attacker loser one, one and they lost four and retreated so so I was able to knock them out of there
and we can start to see my um, my strategy um, against the Americans. I think um, we are set up here. So this is my, my first line. And next what I need to do is I need to set up my second line. Okay, which will be to upgrade this port. All right. And if I can, to put an army in there, same with truck, we're going to put armies in there. I mean, we're going to try to make it as hard as possible for them to um, um, use their naval power. And because of that, a lot of this stuff is stripped of... Um, of defenses, okay. I still have these guys down here. I'll, I'll probably end up moving them over somewhere, um, like in the center of this area. Again, this this group is is for um, anti-submarine work, and in, I used some group this group in here for attack in there but um, it helped but not a lot and here is that new submarine that I bought coming down to Rabul and now I'm starting to take losses on my um, on my submarines. So I had to move them further away. Let me see, I've only got four there. I I think the maximum the maximum you can use is five. So okay. So you can see here I've got this guy got damaged and he will need to be repaired. Okay, before I can put him back out at sea. And so this guy's going to come down here, and this will give me another submarine to try to keep this group over here with five. Okay, as long as they, you know, let me operate there, I will operate there. And the only way they're going to stop me from doing that is to, is to take, is to take Rebol. So let's take a look at the forces. And you can see the upgrade the numbers I've got here. Okay. Huge upgrade. Where I'm 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 upgrading my forces, okay? Instead of adding and adding and adding and adding, I'm trying to upgrade what I've what I've got. Okay, that's my strategy is to to get quality over quantity. Okay. Um Got those escorts in there now. I understand that ten. You need ten to be really effective. I'm waiting for them to I mean, the Americans to attack me in some place, and then I will move, move um, whatever is necessary to go into whatever sea lane is being attacked and beef them up to ten. Okay, and here you see warships now is at one getting ready to go to 43, and large warships as well, getting very close to 43. We've just had um, the assault go up to 43. And so I'm trying to, like I say, I'm trying to upgrade as much as possible. Instead of buying tons of troops, I'm trying to upgrade the troops that I have um, to fight the war, and you notice I, I bought a couple air defense guns there. Again, you come down here, okay, and I had bought two anti-aircraft before, and okay, nope, but not there yet. All right, so those two, those two, these two anti-aircraft um, defense, they, that I bought a long time ago, they're going to go into a bolt. 
like I say, I'm going to I'm going to do everything I can to make these two areas here as hard as difficult as possible to capture. And then I'm going to do the same thing for yap and truck. And I think that pretty much covers it here. I'm a bit I was a bit surprised by how well this is going over here. I had to bring some troops over here um, to fill in gaps. But we're starting to get towards the um, the winter here, and it's going to get much more difficult to be fighting. So th um, that's pretty much where we stand at September 27th. And next we'll take a look at January 3rd, 1943. Okay, so here we are, January 1943. And we can see that my submarines are still out there just racking up kills. Two more kills there. All right. And so now, in Japan, uh, in China, we are essentially um, wrapping up this operation here, which I've been trying to um, to finish off. But the but the but the Chinese are are pretty are pretty tough. Huh? I mean, they're fighting to the death, <laughs> and uh, as you can see, my guys are quite low here, and they're effectiveness has really gotten driven down and we're in the winter so I'm going to have to be starting to look a, a lot at um, getting more trucks I have 42 trucks I've got a lot of specialty points now um, 190 I'm going to be saving them okay meanwhile over here Okay, they've been sending some troops over here, and I backed off here. We've got three armies. There you see an army. I think that's an anti-tank um, quirk, perk. Okay. But I've got my three armies there. 1943. These guys, 1942. 1942, he's at 1943. I'm being a little bit more selective now, you know, 1943. And I'm starting to um, open up um, my infantry to a bit better than um, um, 1941, for sure. Okay. Let's see how, how we've been coming. So he's anti-submarine. He's anti-submarine now. He's anti-submarine. Anti-submarine. And I think that's it. So you can see this guy here in Borneo can cover this entire sea lanes here. Let's go over to our our naval naval Pacific War portion, and you can see I've got um, I've got this marine here, these marines here with the engineer quirk, and they are working on upgrading Yap to a, um, a size five um, port which will make it a major, major port, um, and um, once it does, it will, it will complete my, complete my, the areas that I want to have upgraded. So defending here, then defending this area here, 
and then once they once once the Americans if the Americans once Americans take these points here it's going to be really hard for me to um, stop them so I'm still thinking about whether or not to upgrade Inuit in Inuitok or um, Saipan because I mean this is last this is last ditch stuff here you know once once they have once they break into here I mean yeah you know if they come up and they take here well then having having these guys upgraded could very well be important for me to try to stop them from moving towards Japan I've had one one guy um, one poster in the uh, matrix stated that uh, he doesn't upgrade these ports to slow down the Americans so but we are Japanese and we will fight to the death take a look down here and these all um, these olive colored ones as you can see I mean they're building up a lot of troops eh? we have aircraft a lot more aircraft over here but they still haven't taken Henderson Field and upgraded it which I think is really necessary for any attack on Rabol so this is still not still not active it's but as we entered 1943 I expect things to start happening there so again let's go to my builds once again you can see my stock my reinforcements are very high okay when we come over here we can see that my large warships are getting ready to upgrade and um, my submarines too so this is going to this is this is will give me an opportunity to upgrade um, either more of my infantry or buy more my, more things to um, to um, help me out I've already bought um, another army and supply trucks many supply trucks do we have here 42 so we're gonna we're gonna need supply trucks soon here and if you look at the um, anti-aircraft we've got those two anti-aircraft placed in there and these two here are going to be going into Manus this army coming down to Yap. All right. Let's take an overall look at how things are going here. So my my forces are still relatively relatively low. Um, as I say in my my American campaign, um, I I saw this number at least at, at 1800. Okay. So Again, working more towards quality instead of quantity. Okay, the American land forces are, whoa, you know, they're up there. Their aircraft is now um, greater than mine. Their, um, the, the naval is still not catching up with me. Huh? I mean, I mean they're, they're, they've caught up with me, but they're, I don't know. They're not building a lot of ships, it, it would seem. Or if they're building ships, um, I haven't seen them yet. Casualties. UK taking a big hit in merchants. Japan. Um, 
taking a lot of infantry casualties or it's mostly infantry casualties i i i lost i was losing air and i wasn't able to figure that out but i i finally did and i'll show you what happened there but so in general we're doing okay i think sunk ship remains the same and yeah and what was happening was um, this guy here, I had him in full support, and even though he's anti-submarine, he was joining in my attacks, okay, and losing, and therefore losing, um, losing airplanes. So, um, I think that just about does it. I, you know, I don't. S the, the the only thing that I can see doing now to make this even more more difficult to take would be to give this unit here an elite perk okay plus 10 experience alright I've got my whole fleet down here now all of my carriers. My whole navy. Is that menace? I've got a small amount of um, ships here. And my um, submarines. It's my submarine base. And there you go. So we're now into 1943. Let's see what here. So, yeah, so we already looked at this. I don't have a lot more reinforcements coming. Okay, carriers, light carriers. So I would expect in 1943 things are going to start um, getting a lot hotter. And we'll see how that all works out as I try to cr snuff out this resistance here and, and set up to defend against um, the Chinese. Although I'm still not sure when I see numbers like this, you know, whether I should be not, whether I shouldn't be more. Um, he shouldn't be like that. He should be reinforced. Okay. Um, whether I should not be more aggressive. But as you can see here, one to one attack, that's kind of suicidal. So. Three to one. Three to two, he's at one. So I'm pretty sure these guys aren't going to do anything. It's these guys. Let's say take these guys out, you know. Should I try to come down here? It's probably not worth it. Anyway, that's um, uh, part two of my um, Japanese campaign, um, the year 1942. And um, uh, thank you for watching. Hope you um, will enjoy this series. And um, we'll see how my, um, how my strategy works out against, the, um, against, this, um, against this AI. I'm kind of looking forward to it. It's my first campaign. And we'll see how it goes. So you all take care, and until next time, I'll see you later.